I just had a really interesting experience. I got my first Saya made based entirely on measurements that I took in Edmonton and sent to Miami and got the Saya back. That is absolutely amazing. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Frank Oallo and this channel is all about knife knowledge, reviews, unboxings, and head-to-heads. And today's video is all about a custom Saya that I got made for this absolutely beautiful Hado Collab Chef's Edge 210mm Gyoto. Now, the person in question that made the custom Saya for this absolutely gorgeous knife, one of my favorites, top five, is Jose by Knife Saya. He contacted me and said, Frankie, would you like me to make you a Saya? And so, of course, I said, absolutely, I would love that. But the hardest part became, what knife would I like a Saya for? So, of course, I explained that lately, I've been a little bit uncomfortable shipping some of my favorite knives, particularly for things like custom Saya work. So I said, would you be open to the idea of me tracing out the knife, then scanning it, and also taking as many measurements as I can? And so that sketch, is right up here on screen. That's what I sent him. I scanned it, I told him to print it and make it life size. So what I mean by that is one inch equals one inch so that everything makes sense on the scale. And really, of course, everything on the scale is in millimeters. But the point is, all I sent him was that picture. And I said, do you think you can do it? And he said, yeah, I'll, I'll give it my best shot. And so he did, and he sent me the finished product. And let me tell you, I'm absolutely blown away by him. So I'm actually going to allow Jose to introduce himself now. He made a video for the channel just to kind of say who he is, what he does, and you'll even see what the Saya looks like. Now it's all in Spanish, so I took my first opportunity to caption it for you. So please enjoy and we'll come right back. Hola, buenas noches. Mi nombre es Jose Javier de Nice Saya y les hago este corto video para mostrarles lo que hago y en especial esta Saya en la cual he estado trabajando los dos últimos días hecha especialmente para Frankie, para su Yuto Hado 200mm está fabricada en bocote mexicano para mí una de las mejores y más hermosas maderas que he trabajado ahí en el video se alcanza a ver perfectamente bien todo el nivel de detalle que adquiere la madera el pulido, el brillo, los colores Well, guys, what did you think? Jose, super personable guy, very enthusiastic. He was so quick to also deliver the Saya. I mean, I sent him, I think, the sketch on a weekend, and by the weekend after, it was like, it's done. What's your address? So, incredibly quick. And of course, I was most nervous when I received the Saya to be like, well, does it fit? Does the shoe fit on the foot? And so, of course, here you can see that, indeed, the shoe does fit on the foot. That's a common expression, right? Uh, and not only does it fit, it looks really good on the foot. Now, of course, I told Jose I loved everything about it. I had never heard of Mexican bocot wood, and I'm glad I do now because it has absolutely amazing figure. It works really well with the creaminess of the cream buffalo horn ferrule and as well as just the handle, like it works with the tones. I think it's a fantastic companionship to the whole blade. Now, the fit, of course, could have been a little bit tighter. Um, what I told him in the future is maybe if he wants to consider this, two things. Maybe adding a piece of felt to the inside of the Saya by the blade edge. That way, especially if he's going to be doing this, kind of making Sayas when you just send dimensions, you'll want to make sure you send as many as possible. But if the blade kind of just rubs, on the lower part of the Saya, it won't dull. It'll be safely kind of just uh, maneuvering on this nice piece of felt. And the other thing is if he wants to maybe try this out and consider it, is if he were to just tighten the entry of the Saya a little bit for the spine, right? So of course, when I sent him the measurements, one of the big things was, well, here's the spine thickness at the handle. Here it is above the heel. So with that measurement, if he were to kind of just tighten the Saya a little bit there, you'd get a bit of a friction finish so the blade would move a lot less inside the Saya. But other than that, man, for a design that I sent, like I didn't have to spend money on sending a knife. I didn't have to stress about, will it come back? Will it be lost in shipping, right? The risk is twice. You ship it and you're worried that it's not going to get there and then it is shipped back and you're worried that it's not going to get here. And so this made it absolutely mindless I'm mind blown. I love his Saya so much. 
and the work, the quality, the fit, that I am 100% going to be ordering more sayas from Jose. So thank you so much, Jose, from Knife Saya. You guys should definitely check out his profile. And if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I think the next time I see you, there's going to be a different look. This is the last video that I'm making in the Jasper townhouse. We've made, with this video, 90 videos have been filmed in this kitchen. 90 videos. That's not 90 different t-shirts. I'm sure there's many t-shirts I've worn more than once, but that is 90 videos from things like the first time I thinned a knife or AKA screwed up a knife on the Fujiwara Mabaroshi to rehandling a knife outside to sharpening for the first time on a Japanese natural stone to knife reviews to knife collabs for a sharp knife shop with Tokushu Knife uh, with Stay Sharp Montreal. Like, I'm almost very emotional. This YouTube channel for me is just something that I created out of a pandemic hobby. And thankfully we are no longer in the pandemic, but the hobby remains. I have so much fun doing this. I connect with so many people. Any message that is ever sent to me, I will write back and you don't just get a, thank you, Bob. You'll get a, you know, thanks, Bob, for telling me you like this hado. Absolutely, I'd love to tell you where I got it from or what I think about it. Do you want a picture? Do you want a video? I really do consider myself, and I hope you consider myself too, an active member of the Kitchen Life community. This is my way of giving back. I acknowledge that I have a nice collection that's cost a lot of money. None of it has come for free, all the knives that I've chased. Um, and, and this is kind of my way of saying, it's not because I have it that others can't profit from it. You can profit from it by having my honest criticism on what I think. I try to be a good ally to the community members, but also to the Smiths. I've learned lots of lessons, especially when it comes to knife reviews for Smiths that send me their blades at no cost. I went from being too critical and sharing everything on camera, which was not always positive for the Smiths. And then I realized, well, the community members don't even know what to do with this information. So why did I say it in the first place? I learned to try to be more humble about that process. And, you know, I, for those of you out there, knife smiths, that maybe I've said things that were a little bit too harsh and it didn't really amount to anything except for maybe the viewers having a negative impression about the product, I do sincerely apologize. Look, it's been a learning experience for me and I've learned a lot and I will continue to learn because as long as I am on this earth and this short life that I've been given, I don't think I know it all. And I know just a fraction of, just a fraction of all things that there are to learn. So please be patient with me. Try to be kind when you comment and maybe I'm wrong about something. Hey, Frankie, you screwed up about this. Here's the answer. No problem, that will be well accepted. I'll pin your comment. I want other people to know. I just want to facilitate kitchen knife knowledge. And so let me stop being sappy. I wanna thank you all for being here. I'm not sure what the next video is gonna be about or what the look is going to be. I'm probably already in my new house because it takes weeks to work on these videos when you have another day job. So that's another point of conflict. Be aware that this isn't my main job. It's not even close, it's like job three or four. Um, so thank you for your support throughout all these years for bringing me from the first video I made, the Fujiwara Denka Petty 150 millimeter unboxing in another home, not even this one. That was video one. And then from video two to 91, um, I'm not sure how to say this, but if you're still watching, this is actually video 92 in that kitchen. But you know what? Doesn't matter. My spiel still stands. Thanks for everything. Rest assured that once I get to video 100, you will know I will have 100 dot titled the video in the title of the YouTube video. And until then, thanks for your love and support, and I'll see you in the next one.